plotting in AutoCAD is a powerful yet complicated process. First you'll want to create your model including dimensions and text. You'll have to plan ahead for the scale you'll plot at so that your text appears the right size. Once you've finished your drafting and have something such as this floor plan, you'll want to move to paper space. You'll notice these tabs, model, and I have one named work, which is my layout. The layout is where the paper space is contained. If you don't see these tabs, then they'll appear in the status bar. Simply right click on these tabs in the status bar and say display layout and model tabs to see them between your drawing space and command line. All AutoCAD drawings will have at least one layout by default. To create new layouts, right click in this area and say new layout. Here I've got a layout. The next order of business will be to create a viewport. A viewport is like a hole in the paper through which you see your model. Then I'll want to scale my model in the viewport, create page setups, insert any title blocks or paper space objects, and finally plot. So let's go through that process. One of the first things you'll want to do is create a page setup. Switch to your layout and type page setup. It's best to create a new page setup with a name. I'll call this 22 by 34. The page setup dialog box will appear, which resembles the plot dialog box. First, select your plotter and then your paper size. Because you'll want to be able to measure your drawings with a scale once they're plotted, you should always leave plot scale set to one to one. As for the plot area, it's typically safe to leave it on layout, though all the options are discussed in your book. Your pen assignments in the top right corner convert your AutoCAD objects into stylized lines for plotting. STBs, you see here, are style based, and each layer has a style assigned to it. There are also color based CTB files which take the colors of your AutoCAD objects and convert them into line weight and line types. Before closing the Page Setup Manager, highlight the new page setup and click Set Current. You'll notice that the moment you set current, your layout enlarges. That's because of the sheet size being 22 by 34. Now that I've created my page setup, I'll make a viewport. Your layout may already have a viewport, and that's fine. But if it doesn't, type MView for Make View and create the viewport just as you would a rectangle. Your objects should automatically appear in the viewport. Because models are created at a one-to-one -one scale or full size, they typically won't fit on paper at a one-to-one -one scale. For that reason, viewports can be scaled. If I double click inside of the rectangular viewport I created, it will become active. You'll notice it's active by the bold line around the viewport, and you'll also notice that the cursor changes to an arrow if moved outside of the viewport. To switch back to paper space in the layout, I just double click outside of the viewport. Alternatively, I can use the toggle at the bottom of the screen to switch between model or paper space. When in the floating model space, or the viewport, I'll see the scale at the bottom of my screen. By default, the viewport zooms to extents, and you end up with a strange scale. Typically, you'll want to set this to a standard scale such as 3 sixteenths of an inch to a foot in this case. Because zooming in the viewport will affect your scale, it's a good idea to lock the viewport after choosing your scale. To lock the viewport, click on the lock icon next to the scale. Now, even in model space, zooming will not affect the scale. I'll switch back to paper space, which is where you would add things like title blocks or notes. Objects in paper space will not be scaled, so you'll want to write your text, your notes, and your title block at the appropriate height for plotting. Objects within the viewport should be sized appropriately for the scale of 3 sixteenths of an inch to 1 foot. I'll insert a title block now. I'll choose the 22 by 34 title block. To plot, I'll simply type plot or use any of the icons. And you'll see that the page setup we created earlier automatically populates the plot dialog box, though individual adjustments can be made. It's a good idea to preview your plot before plotting. 